We need this to stop. We need your help. We can't do this alone as a police department. A plea from LMPD tonight as the city experiences a record number of homicides and shootings. So far this year, the Metro has seen 160 homicides, nearly double the total number in 2019. That includes three murders on Wednesday. That's unthinkable. I mean, 713 people have been shot. The only difference between a homicide and a shooting is how great EMS is and how great those frontline heroes are at University Hospital. Metro Council President David James says changing those numbers means attacking poverty. His colleague, Councilman Anthony Piagentini, says it also means more officers on the streets. Right now, the department is down about 200 officers. The more police officers you have proactively policing a community, the less crime you have. Um, so there's no question in my mind that the increase in crime that we've experienced is directly related to the decrease in officers that we've had on the streets. Because of the civil unrest the city saw this summer, coupled with the ongoing pandemic, LMPD admits their resources have been stretched thin. That's why last month the department made a move that they believe could help the homicide unit. In the beginning of November, we moved the shooting cases back to the division detectives in hopes that that will provide a few extra hours a day for these detectives to be able to really dig deep and, and really look into these homicide cases so we can start solving them. Most city leaders, including James and Piagentini, believe tackling violent crime should be the city's number one priority in 2021. And LMPD says it is. We want a safe community. We want to solve these homicides. It's something we need everybody to pitch in and help us with. 